Hello, my friend. Welcome to this new space with me. This is my new flat and I've set up a corner here by the fireplace to talk to you. And, um, and I have a tanka here, Buddhist tanka, and a little golden Buddha there to <laughs> reflect holiness onto me. Uh, to <laughs> make me look very spiritual. And talking about very spiritual, I want to share a practice with you today that I call Compliment a Stranger, or the longer title could be Say Something Nice to a Stranger. And I want to share the story with you, how I came up with this practice. And I want to talk a little bit about what that can do to you, or for you, or for me, or for us. And I'll start with the story. So I moved in into this new place, and it's not far away from the castle in Vienna called Schönbrunn. Castle and, uh, and um, beautiful park. And so this morning I went for a run, the first time in my new neighborhood. And I ran downhill the one and a half kilometers to this castle and then I ran through that park, beautiful sunshine, and up the other side to the place called the Gloriette, which is like a miniature castle that usually has a cafeteria inside, a coffee place. And there's a lake in front of it and you can sit there. And I was sitting there in the sun in the morning overlooking Vienna, beautiful. And then I saw a black man, tall black guy, dark black, muscular, with black clothes, running, shoving a trolley, a baby trolley. So, and the black man had in this baby trolley a brown baby. And a few meters ahead was this smaller, white, fair-skinned lady. <laughs> And it's like, oh, this is a beautiful contrast. So mama and papa are running with their baby. And they looked, yeah, what a stunning couple. They both looked very beautiful. And I was enjoying myself watching them and her talking to the baby while running and him shoving and like this big dude. And then I ran on, I ran around the park. And maybe 15 minutes later, I arrived back down by this big big space behind the castle that leads up to a big fountain and has Roman or Greek fake statues along the side and flowers in the center. And at the end of this square, this couple with their baby were standing again and I, and I ran and I ran and I looked at them and I was like, I want to tell them that they're a stunning couple, right? And then I had like, oh, is it appropriate? Uh, like thoughts that want to make me avoid this. And um, I think the strongest thought was like, oh, maybe they're creeped out or the baby would be creeped out, right? And that's like, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it as part of my honesty practice. And so I went up to them and I was like, excuse me, I have to tell you. Um, that you're a stunning couple. And they were like smiling and I was smiling and the baby was a little creeped out, <laughs> I think because of my deep voice. And, um, and they th said thank you and turned out like from their voices, I assumed they were American or definitely not Austrian. And that was that. I said, okay, that's all I wanted to say. Goodbye, have a good day. And I like to think that my compliment made their day a little better. And, uh, and I like the rush that comes up with doing something like this, like telling, talking to somebody I don't know. And, um, and I believe that there's many opportunities where we can say something nice to somebody on the street or in the store. You know, just something you like. 
something you see, something you appreciate. Just give a compliment to a stranger. And um, the benefit is that you feel more alive. There's a, like a rush, like maybe just a little bit, but that's like cheap thrills, right? <laughs> And uh, maybe then you smile, and smiling is good. And they smile and say thank you. And there's a moment of connection. And uh, just that's like a little drop that wears down the, these boundaries we have. Here I am, there you are, right? So every time we connect in a loving way, these boundaries kind of open up a little bit. And we don't need to limit our loving talk to our romantic partner or our kids or our parents, if you talk lovingly with them, <laughs> or our friends, siblings. Like We can widen that range and um, that's why I like to connect, just have these short moments of loving connections with strangers. There you are. This is a practice. Compliment a stranger, I suggest. I invite you to try it out and maybe let me know what comes up for you. And finally, it would, I have the thought that it would be best if we didn't have to call this a practice, right? If we didn't have to practice it, if it would just come naturally, like there's a appreciative thought and if the moment is appropriate, whatever that means, like you have to, you speak it out. But we're like so closed up and have all sorts of thoughts and reasons and explanations of why this and that isn't good. And that's why I think honesty practice, learning to say things that you usually don't say, learning to overcome these these self-made um, limits, right? Boundaries. And for that, it's good to keep in mind the benefits of doing that. Like feeling a little more love, feeling lightness, smile on the face, giving joy to another person, opening up your heart. And uh, maybe you have to risk a little bit. You have to risk that, these, that you, you don't know what the reaction will be or that there will be an awkward moment. And I suggest that you try to risk it. All right. Thank you for listening. Have a good day.